Hey there, welcome to this new at home experiment. I'm Eva and I'm very excited that today we, the item teams from Maastricht and Stockholm, will do an experiment together. This time we will explore digestive enzymes in fruit by testing what happens when you add kiwi or pineapple to gelatin and meat. Before we start doing our experiment, do not forget to follow some safety instructions. First, wear a lab coat or apron to protect your body. Second, do wear gloves and goggles if possible. Third, do not eat or drink anything from your experiment ingredients, even they may look tasteful. And lastly, ask an, a parent or adult to supervise your work. So let's get started. Team Stockholm will tell you what you need. So thank you so much for that handover, Eva. We are very excited to be collaborating with you together uh, with Maastricht. Uh, so yeah, let's go through what we'll be needing for this experiment. Yeah, we will need like two different kinds of fruit. We will need pineapple, the fresh one, and also we prepare the frozen pineapple. We will use the kiwi, fresh kiwi, and also a frozen kiwi. And master's team will prepare for the boiled pineapple and kiwi. We will also need some gelatin. Here we have some sheet gelatin. And uh, as an alternative, you can also use some meat. So let's get started. Yeah. Once your gelatin has solidified, you can start with the experiment. In this part, we're comparing if there's a difference between fresh pineapple and kiwi and the frozen versions. Make sure to add the same amount of fruit and mark the starting level of the gelatin. Carefully add the fruit into each glass. You can also include a glass without fruits. This will be your control that you will use to compare your experimental results with. Here you can see a time lapse of our experiment. As with all good things, good results take time. This time lapse is over several hours. For best results, you can keep the experiment running overnight. In samples with canned and boiled pineapple, there was no change observed after several hours. Neither in the sample with boiled kiwi. Additionally, we prepared a sample with minced meat, fresh kiwi and pineapple. After a few hours, the meat had a grey appearance and a slimy consistency. Gelatin is obtained from the animal protein called collagen. You may have heard of collagen before as the protein that helps to keep our skin firm. Gelatin in itself has quite a remarkable structure. It is composed of long amino acid chains that like to stick together. It also has side chains with hydrogen and oxygen atoms that like to interact with water forming hydrogen bonds. But when we add hot water to this mixture, the hydrogen bonds break, causing the chains to separate. As the solution cools down, the hydrogen bonds re-establish, trapping water in between the chains, giving us the semi-solid consistency of gelatin. The reason we are using pineapple and kiwi is because they contain specific enzymes. Enzymes are protein molecules that help to speed up a reaction. They are so-called biological catalysts. Pineapple contains the enzyme bromelain, and kiwi contains the enzyme actinidin. Both of these are proteases, which work by breaking the protein apart by cutting the amino acid chains. Let's go through what happened during the experiment. When you add fresh fruits to the gelatin, the enzymes in the fruits break down the amino acid chains in the gelatin, turning it from a semi-solid into a liquid. A similar effect can be seen when pieces of fresh fruit are added to meat, which is also made up of proteins. The parts of the meat where the fruits have been added on become more tender as the amino acid chains start breaking down. What happens when we boil our fruits? At high temperatures, the structure of proteins like enzymes become altered. This process is called denaturation. When these enzymes are denatured, they are unable to perform their biological function, like breaking down proteins. This is why you do not see any changes in the level of gelatin when boiled fruits are added. So, what happened when we use frozen fruit? When you freeze the enzyme, you lower their activity. 
This means that the enzyme breaks the amino acid chain at a much slower rate than the fresh food. In perfect condition, the gelatin would degrade at a slower rate when you add the frozen fruit. For your experiment, however, it might be difficult to ensure that the fruit remain frozen throughout the experiment as it starts to thaw as soon as you take it out of the freezer. The difference between the result might therefore not be as large as they would be in optimal condition. Thank you so much for watching guys. Hope you learned something and that you had a fun time. And thank you to Ajahn Maastricht for this collaboration. And don't forget to send us your picture how it's going on with your experiment at home. <laughs>